Welcome everyone to another edition of To Your Health, a program designed to give you more information on healthy living and featuring those who make a healthy living lifestyle possible. My name is Fred Zucker. I'm your host coming to you from the Parker University campus in Dallas, Texas. Today we have two very special guests, Dr. Greg Page, who is the director of the community-based internship program here at Parker University. Welcome, Dr. Page. Thank you. And Donna Hopkins, who is a trimester 10 student here at Parker University and who has just returned from Spain, where she was a community-based internship intern. Is that the right terminology? That is correct. Dr. Page? And she was the very first one. She was our pioneer, our uh, pacemaker person in Spain. And we're just thrilled that you're back and that you had a great experience over there, which we're going to hear about a little bit later. But Dr. Page, I'd like to hear a little bit about yourself and about the CBI program in general. Let's start with you, and let's, let's hear a little bit about the, the Dr. Greg Page story. Okay. Um, well, I graduated uh, Parker in December of 89. Set up my private practice in Arlington. A recent graduate. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel such. But um, I practiced in Arlington for 11 years. Um, I got a subspecialty in neurology, got my diplomate, and got some further training in electrodiagnostic testing. So in 2000, I sold my practice, moved to Colorado, and started a mobile diagnostic company. Um, I did that for three years and just loved Colorado. Um, while I was there, I got recruited to teach neuroanatomy and clinical neurology at the new college in Denver. Um, yeah. un unfortunately, it didn't last very long. It was only open for two years, uh, but it was, a, it was a great school. I, I didn't see myself as a teacher, but once I started teaching neurology to the students and yeah. seeing the lights come on and taking these big, ugly, scary words and putting them in terms to where they could understand how the brain functions, right. uh, it was more rewarding than I expected. Yeah. Um, Texas is home. So uh, we moved back in 2003, and I sought a position here at Parker, and I've been here almost 14 years. 14 years. That's great. Very good. And we're glad you're here with us today. And Donna, tell us a little bit about your background and what brought you to Parker University in chiropractic, and I know you have a, an extensive background in <laughs> education. Uh, yes. Uh, it's good to be here with you today, Dr. Zucker, as well. Thank you for letting me come. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> Prior to chiropractic school, I taught for 25 years, was a junior high school teacher, um, taught science, biology, life science uh, to junior high and high school kids, uh, taught anatomy, uh, physiology as well. Uh, I've always been interested in science um, and for as long as I can remember, always wanted to be a doctor. And um, so um, did that for a long time. Uh, as I mentioned to you earlier before we started recording, I actually spent some time working for the federal government as a biologist and an archaeologist with the United States Forest Service. And um, anyway, was uh, going along quite well in life uh, teaching and decided that I wanted to chase a dream, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had been working with the chiropractor, my chiropractor back home. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I live in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and um, would always ask him, you know, have these intense conversations when he would adjust me about, well, why is it this way? And have right. these conversations because of my biology and anatomy background. And so one day after he adjusted me, I said, you know, if, if I could do anything in the world, um, I would like to go back to school and learn what you know, because I, I want to know what you know. And he hmm. just looked at me and he said, well, why don't you? Why don't you? <laughs> it's never too late. Right. And so I applied, and uh, at 46 years of age, uh, I recently retired teacher, I went back to school. <laughs> Very good. And uh, so here we are four, nearly four and a half years later, and um, I... Uh, I'm going to graduate on Saturday. And Graduating I'm this Saturday. Congratulations. Couldn't be more Congratulations. excited. That is exciting. Thank you. Very, very good. Well, Dr. Page, give us a little bit of background about the CBI program and sort of what what it does and, and uh, how it is structured. I think that uh, our, our listeners and viewers would be very interested to hear about that. Okay. Um, well, we started the CBI programs in 2006. Um, They've been a great addition to our curriculum. It's given students, our students, the opportunity to get out in uh, real-world experiences. Right, and learn firsthand. We have uh, a, a broad uh, array of, of opportunities for our students. Um, we have programs in local practices. We have uh, five VA hospitals now, uh, as of this morning. Uh, we have a brain center. 
Uh, we have a wellness institute in Maryland. Um, we have several abroad programs, one at the Madrid College of Chiropractic, right. which we is an exchange program. Yep. Um, also one with uh, a chiropractic school in Mexico, UNEVE, mm -hmm. and uh, also a sports rotation with one of our alumni, Dr. Neil Gardner in Jamaica. In Jamaica. Uh, he's the uh, Olympic team doctor for the Jamaican team. Right. And, uh, and a he, former Olympian himself. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. So um, um, all these opportunities are available to all students in Tri-10. Um, in Tri-9, we start the application process and right. the selection process. And we get them ready to spend their last four months out in, uh, in a, a real-world clinical experience. Yeah. And we have the perfect example of that right here with Donna and her real-world experience in Spain. So now tell us about that, how, how that came to be and working with Dr. Page, because this was a new program, and we went through the process of vetting it, making sure that it was up to the standards that we set for those programs, make sure our students are safe and will receive the training and opportunities that they need to make progress toward completing their program of study here. Tell us about your experience, Donna. Well, I have to say that Spain and the CBI program here at Parker was one of the deciding factors for me in ultimately coming to Parker mm -hmm. uh, was the opportunity or the, yeah, the opportunity to do uh, an internship internationally. And so uh, since try one, I have been very <laughs> focused on wanting to be a part of that, hoping that I could go to Spain. Um, and very excited about that. And so it's been it's been a very cool journey to get to be uh, um, kind of in Parker history, I guess. For <laughs> You're the first <laughs> one. As, as the first one, yes. That's right. Um, and so, um, yeah, in Try 9, uh, the emails were sent out and um, wasn't sure that I was going to be able to, to go, but decided, like other things in my life, well, I have to try. Right. And uh, I'm willing to not be the one, but I had to try. And right. so um, it's been an incredible experience. Uh, it was my first time uh, to travel in Europe. So it was the first time to cross the Atlantic. And uh, so that alone was life changing. But then to sure. be able to experience chiropractic um, in a completely different country was phenomenal as well. And to experience so many similarities and the same loving service um, mentality and heart uh, there in Spain in particular, because that's where I was. Um, but to know that it exists there and is well and alive and thriving, it's still very young in Europe and in right. Spain in particular. Um, as a matter of fact, it, there's still no laws to govern it. Um, it's not illegal, it's sort of a-legal. Right, um, right. And <laughs> so it talk about a, a, a frontier for chiropractic. Mm -hmm. uh, the opportunities are incredible there. Yeah. Um, and yet then the, the differences uh, in some of the things and in, in how things are structured there um, are, are a little different than here in the United States. Right. But Madrid Chiropractic College is phenomenal. They have an excellent staff. Um, their students, once they get into clinic, are incredible um, adjusters um, with a lot of confidence. And so we talked a lot um, about that's one of the benefits to having a relatively small college. Mm -hmm. The ratio between staff and professors and students is much uh, closer. And so their ability to provide hands-on uh, training and critique and feedback um, are incredible. And yeah. so I know, for me, I benefited from that. Sure. Um, yeah. I had a lot of very good personal attention um, helping me in the process. And so it was an honor to get to serve um, the community uh, chiropractically yeah. alongside them. Yeah. And you were performing chiropractic duties. I mean, you were doing adjusting yep. and Absolutely. all the things associated with the profession. Absolutely. In a different culture. Yes. <laughs> a different think, culture, uh, a different language. Different language. <laughs> so I think that requires a certain kind of student, a certain kind of person who is adaptable and willing to sort of go with the flow. Yes. And I'm sure that was one of the factors in, in selecting Donna to be our first ambassador 
Would you say that's an accurate statement, Dr. Page? Absolutely. Um, I couldn't be more proud of, of Donna. Uh, she was an excellent representative. She earned this position, mm -hmm. and she represented us well. Um, she was in good communication with us, sending feedback on how she was doing. Oh, yes. The, the challenges she was facing. and The photo journal of yes, her activities. The, her travels. And, well received by all. Yes. So uh, it was... Uh, I was very confident in sending Donna to, to this program as, as our, our inaugural student. Well, we knew that you would do well. Now, you, you talked about your academic experience and the clinical experience and, and how that went, and it, certainly that was, that was obviously very rewarding for you. Yes. But apart from that, I hate when people ask me, what was your favorite thing? Because I'm sure there are so many things. But if you could go back in your memory of your time in Spain, could you just give us a couple of the highlights? Of your because you had some travel time. I, too. I did. I I was um, able to spend some time in France, um, and um, eat incredible French food, <laughs> um, and see the country a little bit in France. And then I actually did some traveling uh, in Italy. Um, I got to go to Rome, uh, which was um, incredible as well. I've right. decided that there are just not enough. Uh, words in any language to fully describe uh, that experience. Right. Um, and then actually I did quite a bit of traveling throughout uh, Spain. So I had the opportunity to spend some time on the coast um, in a little town called Valencia um, mm -hmm. and swim in mm -hmm. the Mediterranean Sea, yeah. which was amazing. And um, then went down to Sevilla and experienced a little bit of uh, traditional flamenco um, uh, extravaganza, and then the world of bullfighting, which is still apparently alive and well in Spain. Yeah, um, quite quite a, a transition. Oh yes, culture shock for non Spaniards. Yes, to see it and yes. to see what it, it's a national sport, it, like it a is. national pastime in it Spain. It is. It's a pretty big deal. I mean, it's right up there with football. Right. Um, Which is saying a lot in Europe. Yes, yeah. yes. So it was it was amazing. Um, I also got to spend some time up in the northern part of Spain in Basque country, mm -hmm. which is then even more so its own incredible little right. world. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't even try to learn their language. Yeah. <laughs> it, very, very difficult. And so certainly as an aside from the clinical academic part of the CBI program, I think it was just as important to be able to do the travel aspect oh, yeah. of it. And what I come back with now is the reality that certainly we can learn a lot from books and study, but then international travel affords you the opportunity to learn things that there is no other way to learn right. but by doing and experiencing. Absolutely. And uh, I am forever thankful for that uh, experience um, and yeah. certainly want to go back again. So right. I'm pretty sure this will not be my last trip. Well, it's, it's true. that There is no educational experience that quite compares to travel, especially travel abroad. Wow. We tend in, in, in the United States to become pretty isolated and insular. The world stops on the, on the coast and Traveling abroad gives you a perspective yeah. that you can't get any other way, as you pointed out so eloquently. Well, Dr. Page, is there any, any message that you would send out to prospective students thinking about chiropractic and Parker and the importance of this kind of opportunity? Well, Fred, uh, you can't make a better choice in your career than being a chiropractor. The job satisfaction is phenomenal. Uh, you get paid to help people. Right. And change their lives change their through lives. chiropractic. It's it's very rewarding. Um, Parker is an incredible place. We have incredible people. Um, there's an energy on this campus. Yes. Um, there's love on this campus. Right. And we do a very good job preparing our students for success uh, through our curriculum, through our business classes, through our uh, uh, on-campus clinics, getting right. their competencies, uh, making sure that they're ready for the real world. And once that they show that they have those competencies, they have the opportunity to go out in a CBI uh, program and right. and take it to the next level. Yep, get real world experience. Absolutely. Well, Donna, we really appreciate you being here, and congratulations on your successful trip, your Thank tour, you. your experience in Europe, and also in, in your uh, imminent graduation from Parker <laughs> University, which will be here in just a few days. Yes. So we're excited about that. Thank you very much, Dr. Zucker. And thank you all for being with us today for another edition of To Your Health. Be sure and tune in again for more information on healthy living. 
Come back and see us again. Bye-bye.